Praise you, the Lord. Amen. We thank God today again, Sunday, 24th of April, year 2022. We have been privileged by God to still live on this planet heart, to continue in His will. It's a great privilege. Many left this physical plane late last night, even as some, early this morning. But it pleases God, the God of Jesus Christ, that me and you should still continue this early journey, doing His will. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. I want to see something uh, wonderful today. And let's see this way. Here is somebody from a village. He had only primary certificate, first living school certificate. But in this society, he was doing something good and beautiful. People acknowledge his efforts in making life uh, suitable for people. His contribution to the society was really acknowledged and appreciated. So one of the tertiary institutions, a university, taught it that, okay, let's honor this man. But though he's not all that literate, but let's give him a doctorate degree. Let's honor him to a doctorate degree. And so the man was called and was told that the school wants to honor him with a doctorate degree. And am I worthy for such a honor? Although you are not worthy, you are not worthy. But we just want to give it to you as a gift to you. Appreciating your effort in the society. Acknowledging your contribution to the well-being of people in the society. And he said, what a favor. Praise you the Lord. Amen. We want to talk of the favor of God this morning. That is the grace of God. I want to take us to Zechariah chapter 4. That is Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. The same word that is said to me and you that are godly by Christ Jesus. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel you shall become a plain, and it shall bring forth the capstone with shouts of grace, grace to read. Praise the Lord. It is that grace we want to look into this morning. You see, this morning the Holy Spirit made me to read the Sacred chapter 4 and also told me to read Romans chapter 11. In Romans chapter 11, we want you to emphasize this same verses. And if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. But if it is of works, it is no longer grace. Otherwise, work is no longer work. What did I say? In the first instance, it means grace and work cannot work together. Grace and work cannot do what? Cannot work together. It means you cannot live in grace and at the same time live in work. 
Where grace is, work is dead. Where work exists, grace is dead. So it's not a matter of choice between grace and work. When we talk of work, according to what I read in Secret Chapter 4, work there will refer to the might of man or the power exerted by man to do something. But when we talk of grace, we're talking of anointing. Anointing of God upon someone to do something beyond natural means, beyond natural level, something that is supernatural. Work is natural. But grace is supernatural. Yes, when you say grace, you are talking of uh, the prerogative of mercy, okay? Exercised by what? An executor or an executive or a pardon. Okay? You can also say grace is what exercises law. Kindness, mercy, favor, okay? Disposition to benefit or serve another. Favor bestowed or privilege conferred on somebody. That is grace. Similarly, we say grace is the unmerited favor. What you do not deserve, the goodness you don't deserve, and bestowed on you and given to you. The gift you don't deserve, given to you. When we are talking of grace, we are talking of the gifts of God. What God alone can give. Grace is what God alone can do, can give. That man has no power to provide. Glory be to God in the highest. So, the angel talking to Zechariah said, look, it is not by man's power, nor by man's might, that you can do things of God. Or you can do what God will do by himself. What God will do by himself, man cannot do it. But man can do what man can do by himself. Grace is what? Man has no power to provide, but God has all the ability to provide. Praise the Lord. So when we are talking of work and grace, grace is anointing of God upon a man. This is what? It's the anointing of God upon a man. To do the unusual, to do the uncommon things. That will make people to marvel and say, wow, this is awesome. Let me show you what the mind of man, the power of man can do, but which is not what God can do or what God will do. And I will show you what God will do that man cannot do except the grace of God upon that particular man or person. This is grace. See what man can do which is outside the will of God. But man has the might and power to do it. Okay? When we say walk, we are talking of an act. A work is an act. Okay? And a worker is who? It's a person who acts or gets something done. Now, see Galatians chapter 5 from verse 19. See, now the works 
of the flesh are evident, which are adultery. It's outside the grace of God. Fornication. Okay? Uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contention, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, reverse, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Those who act such things will not enter paradise. All this work of the flesh, okay, are outside the grace of God. You cannot see them in the grace of God. Anointing of God cannot give you the strength to act out any work of the flesh. No. Never. But this is what the grace of God, the anointing of God, we make you to do. I tell you again, don't forget, I say grace of God is the anointing of God upon somebody to do exploits unto the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To benefit human beings supernaturally. Part of this is what we call miracles, signs and wonders. That's what grace can do. That's what the anointing of God upon somebody can do. That's why God anointed Jesus Christ. He, the grace of God was upon him mightily. And he did great exploits. Okay, so what is grace? In the same Galatians chapter 5, from verse 22. See grace now. That is what God can do, which man cannot do. Except the anointing of God upon a man. Okay, see from verse 22. Then, but the fruit of the Spirit. When we say the fruit of the Spirit, we are talking of the grace of God. The unmerited favor of God upon a man. The anointing of God upon a man. And what are the anointings? Love is an anointing. Joy is an anointing. Peace is an anointing. Long suffering is an anointing. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control, all these are anointings. That man is graced by. The Holy Spirit of God. So when we talk of grace, we are talking of love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. It's only God that can work this out upon a human being. Without the anointing, without the action of God upon your life, you can't have what is called genuine love or true love. Okay? Grace is what God can do, but man cannot do it. Except God will auction that man to do it. Work is what man can do, but which is answer the will of God for man. You just discover that uh, you are missing the point. The only way by which the grace of God can rest upon you mightily. It's by you having Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ is the anointing of God upon me and you that are Christians. Apart from him, we can do nothing. Apart from the anointing of God, you cannot function in the fire of the Lord. I repeat to you again. I'm not condemning those who are still fasting. But I'm telling you, that fasting is not the anointing of God. Upon man. Fasting is not the favor of God for man. So quit what is not God's favor for your life. Rest totally on the favor of God for your life. And that is Jesus Christ. And let that grace be sufficient for you. For Jesus Christ said, I, the grace of God, 
I am sufficient for them. I, the anointing of God, am sufficient for you. Therefore, crave for what is sufficient for you and not for what is not sufficient for you. Grace. Don't rest on your own mind. Rest on the might of the Lord. It is well with you. Abandon more and more in the grace of God and do exploit in Jesus' name.